Hello and welcome to my review of the Exion Horizon. This is an epic variant of the Exion which was added in a few months ago now with whatever update it came in. I can't remember the names of the updates but it happened a few months ago and it's been out for a while but I only got it within the past, like last few weeks I think. And I've been meaning to make a video on it for a while but I just haven't got it. I just didn't have enough time to because I was having uh, did exams and that sort of thing. So I'm going to go over the perks, the aesthetics and then my opinion of it in multiplayer. There is no zombie section to this video because from my understanding this gun doesn't actually do anything in zombies based off of Reddit posts and that sort of thing. From what I know it doesn't do anything however it might I haven't tested it so you can feel free to try that if you get the gun but if it did do anything all it would do would be like grunt you dead silence and drop on you after so many kills so it really it wouldn't be that unique in zombies it's more so the multiplayer gun even if it did grunt you the gun perks in multiplayer or even if it did grunt you the gun perks in zombies it wouldn't even be that useful there's much better guns out there so that's why I didn't really test it. The Axion is a pretty decent weapon in zombies as well, so if you do want to use it, go ahead and try it, but yeah, it, it, I don't think the perk does anything. So as with every epic variant in Infinite Warfare, there are two perks. The first perk is Specialist Stack, which is the epic perk, and it says that every two kills grants you haste, ninja, and then takedown, and every two kills after that grants an additional perk. What this means is... This gun basically grants you every single gun perk in the game which doesn't directly affect the performance of the gun. So what I mean by this is it'll grant you the nuke perk at 16 kills, it'll grant you haste, ninja and takedown obviously as well at 2, 4 and 6 kills. It'll also grant you Deathbringer, which gives you, I think it instantly refills your mag after a double kill. It'll give you the one which instantly refills your mag after a headshot. It'll give you those sort of perks, but it won't give you the likes of the Mother Sentinel Slicer perk. So it doesn't shoot five bullets at a time, or it doesn't shoot at the same rate as the Mammoth. Or it doesn't, you know, fire faster when hip firing and slow when ADS into the end of War Chaos. It will only ever give you gun perks which don't directly affect the performance of the gun, if you know what I mean. So basically it gives you the perks which act like actual perks you could put on your class, but they don't affect the actual gun themselves, so like the ones I described. So for the ones that are listed, I believe haste lets you run faster. Ninja gives you dead silence when you're moving, so when you're like walking I don't think it gives you dead silence but I think when you're running and you're jumping and boost jumping and wall running that sort of thing it'll give you dead silence and then I think takedown removes the skull from enemies deaths so for example if one of your teammates gets killed there will be a skull that appears on your screen but if the enemy that kills them is using the gun with the takedown perk that skull won't show up on your screen anymore. That's what this perk does. That's what per that's what takedown does. So after six kills, this gun basically becomes an entirely stealth gun. If you do put on suppressor, obviously that makes it even more stealthy, which is what I do in the gameplay. I think I said already, but you get the new perk at 16 kills, and when you get 16 kills, it'll say 10 more kills until you get a deatomizer. This is correct. This isn't a mistake. You need 26 kills to get a deatomizer with this gun, even though every single other nuke variant is 25 kills. This is for good reason, because one, this gun is a beast, and it grants you every single perk in the game, for guns at least, that doesn't directly affect the performance of the gun, like I've already said. So the gun turns into like an unstoppable machine whenever you get 26 kills. It also gives you another deatomizer after every 10 kills after 26 kills. So you will get a deatomizer 26, 36, 46, 56 onwards, and that's pretty incredible. If you get into a potato lobby where enemies are like literally just stupid, and it's a really long match, like a domination match or something, you could drop like 2 or 3 nukes at like 46 kills. I didn't get to drop a nuke with this gun sadly, I did try, but I hadn't played the game in a wee while, it was a bit rusty, so, and it usually takes a few matches for me to actually get into the group of things, so I wasn't playing for nearly long enough. I did get close a couple times, I think in the gameplay I do get close in the Genesis gameplay, and you know, it's a really good gun, and if you are a decent player you will be able to drop pretty consistent nukes with it I would imagine, but I just couldn't get into the group of it, so. It is a really good gun though, and it's really good for going in streaks, even if you don't plan on getting nukes, it is a really good gun as well, so. Yeah, and then the sharpshooter perk, which is the common one, just gives you increased damage range. This doesn't increase your damage, it just increases the range of the gun, so your 3 shot range will be a couple meters longer, and your 4 shot range will be a couple meters longer, so that's what it means. The gun looks identical to the Axion War side, this is because of maybe what it is recycling epic variant gun models essentially for new epic variants, which is fine, as long as the gun performs differently than the, than the other epic variants I would say that's fair play. I think they have stopped updating the game, I think I've already said that, so any updates they do will be bug fixes I would imagine, or unless they do an event or something, but I'm pretty sure all the content updates have stopped pretty much, they might do days somewhere again, I don't know. The gun looks identical to the Axion War site, and it does not have the perks of the War site. I did try this, I did check this, I watched the gameplay over. Even though the gun has the exact same site, 
stats as the Axion, which is why I use the Axion Gorsite to be honest, because the Gorsite has like really nice iron sights compared to the base Axion. The Axion has the perk of outlining enemies in red with like a cross and also outlining them in red as well. The Warsight does that, but the Horizon doesn't. The only thing the Horizon has that the Warsight has is the sight and the gun model. So I would say that's pretty good though, because I really like the sight in the Warsight, and that's the only reason I really use that weapon. I don't really use it for like the target acquisition, so I'd say that's fair enough. I've already kind of went into my opinion of the weapon, but I'm just going to round the video off with this. So. I've used the gun for a good few matches, probably 10-15 matches by this stage, all in TDM, and the gun is pretty incredible. It took me a wee while to get into the groove of things, so obviously if you are a bad player this isn't really going to help you, because you do have to be able to go on streaks, but if you do want to go on streaks, if you do want to kind of emulate that whole specialist feeling from 1 over 3 or ghosts, then this gun is probably the closest feeling you're going to get to that. Like I said already, it gives you all of the gun perks that don't directly affect how the gun works. The ones like double kills and sneaky refill your mag and a headshot and sneaky refill your mag and you know take down haste ninja nuke perk you know all those. It's also the only epic variant in the game which can actually drop nukes. I think that's pretty interesting because I didn't think they would actually do that but the gun is actually really cool and I really enjoy using it. I think the Axion is the best gun they could have done this for. I, th I don't think any other gun would have felt right to have the specialist stack perk on because the Axion already is a pretty unique gun in the sense that it is really accurate on hip firing and it also shoots faster whilst hip firing than ADSing and that's like the unique sort of gimmick for it but it actually comes in really handy in some situations. If you're gesturing or calling in a UAV or something you can still hip fire and be really accurate so uh, it really works in those situations and I think the Exion is honestly the best gun they could have done this for. I also really like the Exion so maybe I'm a bit biased. But honestly, if you're someone who just really enjoys going for the atomizers, if you are someone who just likes going on the street, or if you just want to emulate the feeling of having the specialist perk system from 1 over 3 and ghosts, then I would highly recommend using this weapon. I think I've said already, but you can get this from Quartermaster Collection hacks, bribes and hacks which are happening every single weekend in Infinite Warfare. It does kind of suck that you can't directly buy these weapons with salvage from the prototype lab, but you kind of have to understand that Infinite Warfare has been the most lenient game in terms of supply drops and it's the easiest game to get actual variants in. They do have to make money some, you know, somehow. They might, it might be moved into the prototype lab at some stage. I don't know. I think the only reason they're moving ones out of the prototype lab is because they're adding new ones in. So I think that's, I think it's there to stay in the prototype lab, but they have given us plenty of opportunity to get it from bribes and that sort of thing. So keep an eye out for hacks and bribes at the weekends on Infinite Warfare if you want this gun. If you don't really play Infinite Warfare all that much, then there's probably not really any point in coming back for it because it does take a decent amount of keys to get it and salvage to get it, depending on what you buy, a bundle or hack. But that's about it. So I really like this gun. I think it's a really unique gun and the specialist stack perk is honestly one of the best perks in the game because it gives you all of the perks basically. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, maybe subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.